hey guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be sharing with you what my journey was like getting my master's degree from unza at this point in time you would have known that i graduated with an mba from the university of zambia and i just want to share with you what that journey was like for me this is my personal experience if you have intentions of going down the master's journey at unza or maybe even at a different institution i think this video will be extremely helpful for you so let's get right into it So I have no intention of this video being extremely long. I really just want to share what the whole process was like for me. And I must preface this by saying that I um, also attained my bachelor's degree from the University of Zambia uh, in mass communication. So I'm quite familiar with the way the institution operates or how it does things. Um, so for other people, it might be a little bit of a shock when you go to Unz and you discover that there are certain things that are just done in a way that may not make complete sense to you. But anyway, uh, when it comes to my MBA, so I did this program completely online. And so I enrolled in 2021, I believe I enrolled in 2021, I think somewhere in the middle of the year, maybe May was when I um, started. That was like my intake year, my intake month. And um, this program was 100% self-study, like 100% self-study. You are directed towards what you should study. Um, in some instances, you are given specific material to study, but then you have to go out of your way and look for the information for you to study. We were literally given topics week by week. We were given topics so we would know this is what we are dealing with this week. And we were quizzed ever so often. We were quizzed ever so often. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe we had a quiz every other two weeks or something of that nature. I can't remember exactly, but we were quizzed very often on a particular topic. So each topic had a quiz. And if you did not study, if you did not read on that particular topic, it was very easy for you to flunk the quiz. There were a number of times where I panicked because I didn't read beforehand. And now we have this quiz and I have no idea what I'm supposed Like you have, to, I would have to read so much in a day or a night because I did not do the particular reading I was supposed to do in the week that I had. So um, I know that is a bit different for a lot of people. It would be like, okay, this is a bit much, but I think I liked that aspect because it allowed me to take things at my pace. Um, there was no pressure of, oh, I have to attend class at this time. I have to do this at that time. You know what I mean? It's like everything felt like I have a week to do this. I don't know if that makes sense, but everything felt like I have a week until I can do this. It never ever felt like I have to do this today. I have to do this today. Um, but also remember I said that um, I did my BA from Unza and that Unza we strongly believe in the power of the due date. <laughs> it's terrible, but it's true. So another question that I got was um, how juggling studies was being employed and also being unemployed. So in my uh, period of two years of doing my MBA, I was employed for half of that period and I was unemployed for the other half of that period. And um, I will say I don't think it had a significantly great impact on me, if I'm being particularly honest. I'm not going to say that in the period that I was unemployed, I had more time or I, I was able to focus more. That's not going to be true because I really did um, have the same, like I took the same amount of time that I was even when I was working. Um, obviously the greatest um, impact or effect that I could say that I felt or that I experienced was obviously the financial side because now I was uh, unemployed. So I was uh, self-sponsored. I was paying for my MBA on my own. And obviously when I'm out of work, I'm thinking, oh my God, what am I going to do? How am I going to pay for this? 
and it's a testament of god but i managed to pay the whole thing um and whoo let me tell you god is good <laughs> i don't know how it happened but i know that it got done and that was like the best part of it all so yeah i think at the end of the day the most important thing is time management if you are a person who can uh, manage your time well it doesn't matter if you are employed it doesn't matter if you're not employed you will be able to do it the only thing is when it comes to finances and i think that's the next point we're going to get into um i have found that the online programs are a little bit more pricey than the regular programs uh but i think maybe you you would understand why also preparing yourself for knowing that they are very strict with the funds it's so much different from when I was doing like my BA and you know, you would write the exams and maybe they'll just withhold the results or whatever. But for them, you will not even have access to the online classes if you've not paid. You will not have access to the portal. You will not see anything. You will not know what topics are being studied. It's like you are literally completely shut out until you pay your fees. And they are very strict with also late payments and things like that. Okay, um, the next thing is another question that I got was in relation to prospects. So like I mentioned before, I studied my BA in mass communications and my master's in business administration. Um, I, I, I have full intent of continuing on a communications um, path career path because that is where my passion lies however for me it was very important that i'm able to um, grasp the business side of things i wanted to understand and know how a business works but it was a way for me to expand myself for me to it was a way to feed into the vision of who i am going to be 10 years from now 15 years from now 20 years from now uh, another thing is going forward. What's next? <laughs> what's next? Um, truth be told, I have never been one to entertain the idea of a PhD. I, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like I wanted to do one. But now my mind sort of has changed. I don't know if it's the excitement of it all. I'm like, hmm, you know, having a PhD before 35 doesn't sound like a bad idea. But um that I'm, I'm really joking around with that i feel like it's not in my vision for myself right now there's still other things i want to attain and i want to achieve also i really do believe in continually improving yourself um so obviously i would want to uh, just improve my skills here and there uh having some of those um taking some of those short courses getting certificates and things like that that is what's next for me when it comes to academics right and yeah i yeah i guess that's it um when it comes to the dissertation process i would like to think the the dissertation process is the same as at other universities i'm not completely sure but it was a lot <laughs> it was a whole lot for me um oh my god the number of times i would cry and just be so frustrated because i have no idea what i'm doing because I, whatever i thought would happen is not happening the way it was supposed to happen the way and also mind you my dissertation was focused on uh my communication side because that is what i love to do so it was focused on communications and um it was quite difficult for me to do it was really really difficult for me to do i remember vlogging parts of my defense before and after my defense unfortunately i lost that footage so i was not able to share it with you guys however by the grace of god i managed to pass my defense of course i i didn't pass at the first try well i passed it at the first try but I had corrections to submit and things like that. And then eventually it was approved and I passed that. So just prepare yourself mentally. Really just prepare yourself mentally. Make sure you have people who can help you if you need the help. Um, and pick a topic that you will genuinely be interested in reading about because you will read over and over and over and over and 
over again you will read the same things you will read you will read what you have written they say over and over again because even just the the, the words you use the grammar the english all that you know is um, attributed to the grade that you get so be ready to um study a topic that you actually enjoy the graduation process how was that like for me because a lot of people find graduation to be so stressful right um the graduation process honestly was not stressful at all it was stressful but not stressful it was stressful in the sense that i really didn't think i was going to attend the graduation so i, I you know what? If I didn't even know the dates. I did, I was just living like my life like I like a bird that is flying in the air, just going. Um, but also at the same time, it was so not stressful. Um, personally, the way I take graduation is the graduation is the happiest part of the entire academic journey, right? I've had two years of stress. I have two years of toiling and suffering. Why will I also stress at my graduation? Like this should be the time for me to enjoy, to be excited, to be happy. And I really was in that place. The week before, week after, so excited. I'm so, so excited. Like I'm literally ODing. And I know there are people out there who are just saying, hey, I'm a Navo. Hey, I'm a Navo. And it's fine. Like it's okay. It's okay. I get it. You wouldn't understand. Like, it's been two years of tears and I deserve to celebrate myself. So um, at the end of the day, it's just up to you. It depends on what you like for your life. If you like stress, you will definitely make it stressful. Um, but otherwise, a graduation is a very simple process. It's a very simple ceremony and it's meant to be celebratory. And that's what it should be completely so yeah and finally i'm honestly just so grateful to god that i had the opportunity to do this i had always wanted to do my master's right after i graduated with my bachelor's degree and i remember very vividly that soon after that in 2019 when i graduated when i got my first degree i started looking for opportunities to study um my master's degree outside of the country so for me it was a big deal that i studied outside of the country because i felt honestly i still feel like i didn't have anywhere else i could do my masters in zambia like it didn't make sense to me to have my bachelor's degree from unza and then go to another university to do my master like it just didn't make sense like i needed to go higher <laughs> if you know you know what i'm trying to say so i started trying to look for scholarships to go outside of the country and I actually applied to some universities in the UK. I ac got accepted to two universities in the UK, but unfortunately I couldn't get scholarships. I, I just couldn't get any scholarships. And that dream even died a little bit. Like for a moment I was like, okay, let me just forget about this. But then I remembered in 2021, I said, no girl, you gotta do this. Like, you got to do this. You've wanted to do this. This has been your vision. This has been your plan. And if you know me, you know that when I want it, I get it. If I've planned it, it must happen. My visions must always come to life. So I set out for going back to Uza because where else would I go? Hmm? But anyway, I'm just super, super excited for that. And I still look forward to one day... Um, learning something outside of the country i really think it's so important to have that exposure i really really think it's so important i hope that one day i'll have the opportunity to do something outside of the country even if it's still in africa even if it's in a different region but i i'm praying for that and i hope it does come to fruition one day so yeah i guess that's it if this video has been helpful to you or there are some questions that you still have, some things you're not sure about, you can drop me your question in the comment section and I'll try my best to answer it for you. But if you are thinking about doing your master's degree and you have a financier or your finances are in order, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? That's it. <laughs> 
um i hope you enjoyed my video and i'll see you guys next time bye